One reason officials are so concerned about the consequences of any train wreck is the type of cargo that is now carried. Many trains carry lethal chemicals, highly toxic cargo that if spilled can kill. Any wreck involving a toxic load requires special handling. Highways are closed, homes are evacuated, lives are put at risk, and huge areas have to be decontaminated. On March 4, 1996, a hazardous materials team battled a propane blaze for nearly three weeks after a train derailed in Wyowego, Wisconsin. A month later, over a thousand people had to be evacuated near Alberton, Montana, when a freight train derailed and spewed chlorine gas. A cloud of toxic fumes, estimated at eight miles long and four miles wide, covered the town. Hazardous material is a growing business for the railroads. Some of these hazardous material that they, they carry can be very, very dangerous to the public. We've had accidents where we've had bombs carried on trains and the bombs have been laid, laying around the wreckage. Nothing exploded, but uh, you know, there, there's all types of things out there. 